Welcome to Do You Get a Fuzzy Feeling When You're Comparing Strings? Hey, I'm Eric, and out in the real world, not surrounded by state of the art computers and stuff like that, you sometimes run, run into weird issues. Like, like, let's say that you have a customer created, and then you, your job is to import customers, but only import the new ones. Uh, update existing but they may not you know be spelled completely right so suddenly it's, it's it's getting complicated to figure out if you already have a customer or not and 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 the the problem is that we with our eyes we can see oh this is the same customer but there's like there's a comma here and there was not a comma in the other one or uh, whatever the uh, the difference is that um but there are ways where we can we can get help and and i want to show you a couple of those uh, here today so i think we better get started um i created a new extension as usual and uh, the topic for today i i call it fossey compare uh that we wanna we wanna compare something that is not actually the same but it's it's close enough so it's it's fuzzy um but let's let's create a um fuzzy workbench uh, so somewhere where we can uh, we can write some code so i create a new page uh page type could be card i guess layout um and we probably need something to so we need two strings because we need you gotta compare strings and we need some sort of a uh, uh, output um, and let's do that as an integer first because I want to show you something so uh, maybe I already have that so one of the ways that we can compare two strings is with the Levenstein distance um, and uh, I don't know if it's it's probably he was he was from Soviet uh, so it's probably probably not uh, fake German um, uh, anyway <laughs> I, I got totally okay anyway but the uh, Levenstein uh algorithm is a, a a small algorithm that will calculate how many edits it takes from going from one string to another one um and and, and that is um we, we could spend you know we could spend a video implementing that that is probably not be a short video because Getting all this right is annoying. But if we go and look, we poke in dark places such as the the type helper code unit. Um, and we search for Levenstein, then we see that somebody at Microsoft um, actually created a function called text distance and well it can fit on the screen so maybe we could do it in a video anyway but there's no reason for us to do it in a video because microsoft already did this um so, so let's see how it works um so let's uh, on our area here content we will add a um because that's what we need to edit. We'll add B, location area, all. I could have done put that up in the top, but we're writing backwards compatible code here. And then field output, application area, all. So that's pretty good. So let's do the, let's, let's actually just do a trigger here and say on validate. So whenever, type in this one we could add the type helper as a let's call it t uh, type helper as a, as a code unit here so we could do something like 
output equal t dot what was the name text the distance between a and b and let's add that trigger to both a and b i think that's a program let's try it out and i think if Hopefully before I start the video, I specified in my launch JSON that we should start on the new page. So let's see what we get. Okay, so if I go A, B, C. So right now, we already got it. Hey, let's make this bigger so you guys can see it. Um, so to go from A, B, C to a blank string will take three edits well delete 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 that makes sense so what about if i change this to to d e c so now we are take this takes two edits so i could do d b c one edit what if i do c b a two edits we've got b in the middle um, so let's say that I'm comparing, and not, right now I'm doing everything in lowercase. Uh, so I'm I'm comparing Hogard uh, Software Incorporated, um, and I'll, I'm going to compare that to Hogard, comma Software. How about Hogard Dash Software Incorporated? We're doing all lowercase, so no dot. So this takes six edits. Um, so suddenly we, we are able to see that, no, did it say Kronos? Oh, let's continue make sure we're all lowercase Kronos. Or did it say Kronos? One edit. Um, so instead of saying is, no, go, go, find something that is the same well now we can we can kind of calculate the the distance the edit distance to any text and figure out well if something is within one or two characters um then it might be the same um so that was pretty nice of microsoft to uh, uh to include this in here I have, let's find that one again, Levenstein. Um, so let me let me grab something from, I have no idea where that went. Hang on, let me find it. Um, so going way back to the, before somebody, before the type helper um, code unit existed, uh, a piece of code circulated um i'm not sure where this code came from um if anybody knows so okay sorry let, let's actually get the code in here so i have this here and, and you can see this kind of looks like looks like something i could have programmed but with with the lack of proper variable names um but it's not it's something that has i think i have probably adjusted this at some point uh, i used this first way way back in a product in denmark was an integration between navision and um, a marketing database of all the companies in denmark uh, and and we wanted to make sure that we didn't uh, you know, create duplicates, or we could go look for duplicates. Uh, so this piece of code was very much part of um, part of this, and then it has been used. You know, copied into all sorts of things. So I just found it somewhere else. Um, but this one outputs a decimal. So let's add another output so we can compare the two decimal. Um, so let's go and say output two equal 
fuzzy compare A to B. And we'll just do this here again, like this. Let's see what we get. Uh, how about we, yeah, yeah, you can yell at the screen now. Yeah, you forgot to put output two on the screen. Let's do that very quickly. Here we go. Oops, output 22. We're not going to do output 22. It's not, it's not that, that long of a video. There's only those two. Um, but if there are more, and so if you have uh, got the perfect piece of code to, to do a fuzzy string compare, um, comments below, uh, right after you, if you remember to hit the subscribe thing. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do Hogarth versus Hogarth. So this one says zero. This one says one because they are very alike. Let's just for fun let's change this to so in denmark we have you know in denmark we have our own letters so the two a's can sometimes be as an oh. so and now this one says this takes two edits this one tells you that it's 0.75 um Let's try the Hogarth Incorporated versus Hogarth. Wow. Oh, let's versus Hogarth Incorporated with a typo. So this takes two edits. This one says 0.92. Um, what if there's just a bunch of text here? Then this one says 25, 45 edits and the other one says, and again, I, I I have no idea what algorithm this actually is. Uh, if anyone recognizes it, let us know in the comments. Um, I think it's something to do with how far it can find stuff. Uh, um, but uh, I'll uh, the code will will go up on on, on the GitHub if you want to uh, to play with that function. Um, Let's let's do the Hogarth comma. So now I actually made the same typo twice. So we're now oh, there's no see now we need a dot. So there's one change, point nine three. Um, so both both versions seems to be easy to. Um, th so the, the the problem with the Levenstein. Um, and and I think this one because so so let's um, let's do let's do this. Uh, so we take that. We take this. Um, and then we do how how many did I do five? Right. So, so now there's a difference of five and, and this, so that's, that seems higher, but in reality it's probably lower because it's only five edits in a very long string where this one, I think is more independent on, on, uh, the output being part of the, uh, length of the string. Anyway. That was two examples of how you can uh, can do fuzzy string compare. Um, it, it's I, it's a tool I have in my toolbox when we get to uh, sometimes data conversions or, or let's say you have your suddenly you you're met with a task that it, there's a merger of two companies so we got to import a lot of new data into an existing data and we don't want to create duplicates and, and stuff like that. Uh, so typically you need to use some sort of tricks like this um, so now you know if you want to see more AL hacking uh, you know this video that's a good one I'll see you there